Welcome to Life, Love and the Pursuit of Real Estate. My name is Michael Biviano. To the real estate agents out there at the moment, and we, we concentrate probably, I don't know, John, what do you reckon, about one third of our time on real estate? Yeah. yeah. So we look at the markets and we discuss, you know, staffing, education, a whole range of things, you know, business development, a whole range of things in relation to the real estate businesses that, that are here in Australia and globally. And a lot of the practices are the same. Good practice is generally good practice. And we are a people-based business. So cohesively, real estate directors have the onus of bringing everybody together, keeping the goal focus orientated in one direction and making sure that we educate people to be better communicators, better real estate agents, and basically, to a certain extent, behavioural specialists, that we understand the behaviour of the public, who we're dealing with, understand that multiculturalism is extremely important, understanding the different cultures that are in the countries that you're working in, maybe speaking a little bit of those languages, even a few words here and there, or understanding the food, or understanding whether it's a third world country, et cetera, et cetera. Those things matter when you're dealing with the public, and especially now that the world is now a much smaller place, as we've all heard due to many reasons, internet, media, the whole range of things. And they used to talk about a, a 24 hour news cycle, you know, now it's about a minute turnaround on news cycle, maybe less John, I don't know, but it's pretty quick, right? So yeah, seconds. So on that score, I wanna leave a lot of the real estate directors with a couple of thoughts. For you to grow and for you to prosper your business and look after the public properly, you need to bring everybody in on the goals of the business. Right? And you need to be able to get that message across. An autocratic approach will not work, as we've seen in Australia. That, that you know, really good real estate businesses can flounder very, very quickly if you take an autocratic approach to management. And so you need to employ the right people that you can give some autonomy to, basically trust them and guide them. And the real estate director's job really is like the white lines on the road. Keep, to keep people on course and keep them heading in the one direction. But you cannot autocratically manage people by dominating them and dictating to them what they have to do all the time. You have to manage by education and inspiration. So I'll leave you real estate directors with those two words, education, inspiration. Give them some autonomy, be the white lines in the road and get to where you need to go. Good luck.